This is the portrait that Samuel Little drew of a woman who he believes was named Alberta. He drew it for CPD detective Kelly Best to help her identify the woman. Late last month, Detective Best went to a California prison, coming face to face with a killer. I hear you want to talk about the girl by the highway sign or the girl by the billboard. I hear you want to talk to me about that, and I said, as a matter of fact, I do. Local 12 was first to show you the picture back in April. Little told the detective he dumped the woman's body by a billboard after killing her. He talks about how he killed her in the car. Um, he starts to choke her in the front seat, and then she tries to get away. She jumps in the back seat, and then he gets in the back seat with her, and that's where he kills her. Little later drew another of the same woman to help Detective Best. Although the second picture shows the woman with lighter skin, Little says his victim was, in fact, a dark-skinned African-American woman. So I have two portraits that he's drawn that are um, really different. The serial killer has murdered women all over the country. More than half of the 93 he's admitted to have been verified. Anna Stewart is the other Cincinnati woman who Sam Little confessed to killing. Her body was dumped in Grove City outside of Columbus in 1981. And um, he strangled her. You know, he's a manual strangulation. That's what he does. He strangles women with his hands. Um, that is his version of sex. For years, Stewart was an unsolved homicide, but now that Little is talking and drawing these portraits, it may soon be closed. Detective Best is yeah, also hoping to eventually ID this woman and bring justice for her and her family. That's why she flew across the country to speak with Little, and that's why she still needs the public's help. I do. I haven't found her yet. Little did tell Detective Best that he would be working on another picture of his Cincinnati victim and that he would get it as accurate as possible to help identify her. Little was known for preying on women who were prostitutes and had addiction issues with drugs or alcohol. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter has just announced a break in the two cases. He's holding a joint news conference with the prosecutor from Columbus tomorrow morning and we'll be streaming it live at local12.com and local 12's Facebook page.